Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak and this is ProstateVideos.com. In this video, I want to talk to you about a new treatment for men with progressive metastatic disease who have already had chemotherapy using Taxotere. The drug is called Zytiga, or the chemical name is Abiraterone Acetate, and it is a hormonal treatment. What it does is it blocks the production of testosterone from cholesterol by interfering with an enzyme, enzyme that is normally necessary to produce testosterone. We now know that testosterone is not only produced in the testicles and the adrenal gland, but men that have prostate cancer, the cancer cells also can produce testosterone. And so this drug has the ability to interfere with the production in all the different sources. It has been approved by the FDA based on prospective randomized studies that showed a four-month greater survival in men taking this drug after chemotherapy compared to taking prednisone alone. The study actually is done using prednisone plus Zytiga versus prednisone and placebo. And the reason that prednisone is necessary is because some of the potential side effects are due to a decrease in normal chemicals that we have in our body. The prednisone helps replace that and helps prevent men from getting into problems. The side effects, the most common ones, are hypertension, a decrease in potassium, and potential fluid retention. And the prednisone is meant to offset those side effects. But overall, it is reasonably safe in patients, particularly for those men that are faced with progressive metastatic disease. The treatment is an oral medication. You take four 250 milligram tablets once a day, and you take prednisone five milligrams twice a day. And then you get monitored for follow-up. Now, at the present time, the drug has only been approved for men that have already had chemotherapy. If you're a candidate for chemotherapy, then you may need to get that first. However, many men find that they're not good candidates for chemotherapy, and it's possible to receive the abiraterone acetate, or Zytiga, even in those circumstances. The question, of course, is whether or not this drug may eventually be useful for men who have not received chemotherapy, and studies are underway. Those results hopefully will be ready by the end of 2011 or sometime in 2012, because that would make it possible to give men the treatment without having to first get chemotherapy. But those studies are underway. We won't know for a little bit longer whether or not it's truly effective. The most important point here is that there's now another alternative for men that have failed Taxotere uh, in addition to the alternative chemotherapy, which is Cabazitaxel, we now have Zytiga as an alternative. And some men might find that the side effects are less and it's easier to take and easier to go through than it would be to have additional chemotherapy. What's encouraging for patients is that we're getting more options for men with progressive advanced disease, and that's an encouraging finding. Uh, if you have been on hormone therapy and have progressed, talk to your doctor about whether you might be a candidate for this, and talk to him whether or not you're a candidate for chemotherapy first. But the good news is that we have additional therapy, and you should make sure it's explained to you so you're can receive it if you're a good candidate. Hopefully you find this information helpful. Thank you.